Hey everybody and welcome back and here is a rather small haul but pretty representative of the new line of Force Awakens action figures and there's my cat blocking the view so what I thought I would do is review at least one of these to give you an idea of what you can expect and tell you a little bit about where you can find these figures um, they are probably best found at Target right now since it just opened and um, if you want to get your hands on some of the more choice ones you probably have a good shot of that although Walmart has been restocking them pretty regularly so from what I've seen none of these are too particularly hard to find um, so what I have here is a is one of the uh, six inch black series and this is Ray Jakku and BB-8, the droid, that I'm sure you've seen from the uh, movie teasers. And the painting is really good on this, although I found two of these and one the painting was really bad and this one the painting was really good, which is kind of, you know, uh, kind of a failing comment on the Black Series. It usually always has good painting, but uh, anyway, I also found um, it says Captain Phasma, or Phasma, I'm not exactly sure. He's Chrome, and, uh, this just looked to me like one figure that you, you want to get your hands on. At Target, this was the only one that was left. However, when I went to Walmart later, they had just finished restocking, and they had one, uh, with all of the others. So, I would guess, at least where I live, this would be the hard one to find maybe the chase figure for now and finally of course I had to get Kylo Ren the mysterious Sith uh, I don't know if he's a master but uh, red lightsaber wielding bad guy so um, and that's these are the basic figures these are the three and three quarter inch ones uh, a little bit about them real quick. You can tell that they are uh, the pretty basic articulation. We, we're not seeing what we've been used to over the last few years with uh, lots of articulation. To me, looking in the box, it looks like you've got a swivel neck, swivel shoulders, swivel waist, and swivel hips. Um, same goes for this guy. And uh, I also noticed that in this collection they had some of the other uh, mission series, the the very basic ones that I reviewed in the past, mixed in with these. And if you look here, there's a a build uh, a build project included in all of these, which turns into um, I'm not exactly sure. It looks like I don't know what this is supposed to be, uh, but. Uh, Nonetheless, nevertheless, uh, I think I don't know if you can build this completely with just a few figures, or if you have to buy all of them, including ones that have been repackaged. So I'm kind of hoping that's not the case. On the back, you can see some of the other figures available. Kylo Ren. They have the repack of the Luke Skywalker and uh, this guy, Captain Phasma, which is weird to show him on the figure he's on. Um, Okay, so um, I thought I would open this one because the uh, six inch black series are the most collector friendly and also because it has BB-8 and probably this would also be the best example of articulation since this is a black series figure. This might be the best one to look at. Um, yes, I did pick up this figure mostly for the droid. I don't know much about the character. They're being obviously very vague about it, but... Uh, I'm, I think she is uh, one of the two main characters. Finn is the other character uh, who apparently is a stormtrooper who joins the, the rebels. So um, you've probably seen her in the preview. She's the character who gets on the, the sort of uh, desert version of a, of a speeder bike. So let's just take a quick look at the packaging. It's labeled uh, zero 02. Um, on the back let's read 
Ray is a resilient survivor, a scavenger toughened by a lifetime of dealing with the cutthroats of the harsh desert road of Jakku. BB-8 is the spherical, loyal astromech droid of the Resistance pilot Poe Dameron. And actually they had Poe Dameron there uh, in the uh, three and three quarter scale. And that's all you get everything else in, is in different, the same text in different languages. Um, in Spanish, um, we've got it in, hmm, there's, uh, sorry, French, Spanish, and um, I'm not sure if that's Portuguese. My friend Andre can probably answer that question when he sees this video. Okay. Now, like I said, this is the more collector friendly. So we can open this one up without compromising the package. We're very careful. Whoops. Okay. There's a little piece of tape right here. And as you can see, I want to obviously repackage this after I review it. So you slide out the contents of the package. There's uh, has a red background, and here's the package, and it's plastic. So first, uh, let's see if we can get the weapon out. Okay, Let's start with looking at this weapon. It reminds me a lot of uh, what uh, Princess Leia wielded when she was in the Bounty Hunter disguise Bosk, Bosch in Return of the Jedi. It seems to be a, a pike or, or laser pike of some kind. Now let's take out Okay, let's take a look at this figure. The face sculpt is really good. It does resemble the actress. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can get some. That's a very good face sculpt. I mean, I, I've seen better, but the paint is a little lacking. There's uh. It's not as good as the standard we've seen from a lot of the Black Series, but it's not too bad. They've got uh, some rouge on the cheeks and everything to sort of show dimension. That's my cat, and he is trying to get my attention by beating on the TV, and it's really annoying. Okay. Sorry about the noise. He wants attention really bad. Hold on one second. Bear with me while I get this cat. Get down. Okay. Okay, sorry about the interruption. Alright. And her costume, she has a pack on a belt. Um, very basic tattooing-ish looking outfit she's wearing. She has like short pants on, very basic boots. The action figure itself is, is uh, not super compelling. Let's go over the articulation. She has a, a nice uh, ball jointed 
or ball hinge neck. Um, shoulders that are ball hinged, but their movement's impeded to a certain extent. Oh, no, never mind. You can move them. Um, she has ball hinged elbows. And a swivel waist, ball hinge knees, and ankles, and uh, swivel hips. Now finally let's take a look at the droid. Okay, this droid is um, BB-8. Okay. And it's not quite as exciting as you might think as in terms of movement. It, uh, but I think they did as good as they could do. But we are looking at um, a good amount, a good range of motion on his dome. But I don't. I think without using some kind of magnets, I don't know how they could achieve the effect that's in that we're seeing in the previews. But the dome swivels and it is on a ball joint so it moves around to a certain extent. So you can get sort of that effect. It's very heavy. And um, and it has some weight on the bottom so it can stand or you can position it. Which is kind of cool. So they did a good job of that. I think for what it is, it's probably the best they could do for now. They are there were a lot of uh, BB-8s on display that were a lot more that were a lot larger, a lot more sophisticated. So it's a pretty good figure. Nice combo. You get two for one. And if you're gonna, if this is the droid that you're looking for, um, this is the one you want to get. It is weighted nicely on the bottom, so it, you can display it really well. That's pretty cool. Okay, so that's an idea of what you can expect from the Force Awakens line. If you want these figures, try Target or Walmart. Walmart's been restocking them. Okay, my cat is really dying for attention. He is going to the very top okay now um, <laughs> and if you want the black series they have uh, it's pretty much the same characters in the black series as well if you want more articulation more detail but if you just want for joy of collecting you got your three and three quarters right here so um, I hope this was a good little uh, sneak preview review of what you can expect to get today when you go out looking for these figures and I hope you enjoyed it Please rate, comment, and subscribe.